Bernard translated the footage of the church support group in Bunyakiri. They took everything from the house. I've been around in the villages. I saw a lot of misery, but uh, when I saw raped women, when I talked to raped women in Bunyakiri, I was really shaken because what they said was unbelievable. I was just lay, laying, lying there, letting them to do what they wanted to do. When the old woman talked about how she was raped by seven guys, really I went mad. And I think that uh, I won't forget that, that woman. Her picture, her image will stay just in front of me all my life. I spent an afternoon with Bernard's family at their home on the Rwanda border. All this part is Rwanda, what they call Mururu. This, this part of Rwanda is called Mururu. So you can cross by swimming, you can cross in a canoe. Ten years ago, Bernard lived in Rwanda. His first wife was a Tutsi and had been murdered in front of him. He fled with their two children across the river and back to his native Congo. He courted Mama Lorraine for many years. They have four children. This is uh, Rebecca. My daughter is Rebecca. I couldn't really imagine my girl, my, my daughter, being raped. I think that I will die. But I love her too much. <laughs> and before to rape them, I think that you better kill me. And uh, I pray God so that such things can, can't happen to my, my daughters. I want my kids to be happy in life, not to know such misery. If a society can protect women and kids, what kind of society is that? You know, because I think that it is the, res the first responsibility of men to protect women and kids. If uh, men themselves started to start to torture, to kill, to kidnap, to rape women and uh, teenagers, really, how can you say? This is a normal, a society of human beings. It becomes j just a, a real jungle. That's what we are living in. It's a real jungle. 